Hello, welcome to The Cindy Show with Lily and Rosie. Today we're reviewing the 1998 Ever After starring Drew Barrymore, Dougree Scott, and Angelica Houston. This is a French Renaissance historical period romance, uh, a lot of words there, <laughs> about a young girl named Danielle who has a great relationship with her father. Um, unfortunately, he dies, so she grows up in the family, um, in the household of her stepfamily as their servant. Mm -hmm. um, she meets the prince, Prince Henry, one day by mistaking him for a uh, thief, mm -hmm. and she hits him with a bunch of apples. <laughs> <laughs> Later, um, she ends up going to the castle pretending to be a noblewoman to pay a fellow servant um, and get him free from being sold into slavery. Mm -hmm. um, and she meets the prince again. He doesn't recognize her, thankfully, mm -hmm. but um, he's very intrigued by her. And uh, they keep meeting up and seeing each other and then um, they end up spending time together with her still pretending to be a noblewoman and they start to fall for one another. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, this, this movie had um, a lot of historical references and one of them was the fairy godmother figure. Mm -hmm. Yes, so uh, Leonardo da Vinci was the fairy godmother figure, which is very fun. Yeah. Um, he is kind of laced throughout the story. Um, they kind of combine his character with the plot. And um, um, he, during part of the movie, the prince um, helps him recover his painting, which happens to be um, of the Mona Lisa. <laughs> and um, <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> He claimed it was his life, and uh, so the prince went and rescued it because someone was trying to steal it. Mm -hmm. And um, so that started the relationship between Da Vinci and the prince, um, which was kind of cool. Um, and um, towards the end, it's Da Vinci that ends up um, saving the day for um, Danielle and um, providing her with the amazing um, wings for her dress mm -hmm. at the ball and um, yeah so it's pretty cool that he's in there um, at one point he is walking on water <laughs> yeah um, that's like, when he meets Danielle yeah she's um, swimming um, yeah and... she's swimming in the in the river <laughs> and he's walking on water with these uh, wooden shoes yeah and uh, later he says that he's gonna leave walking on water to the Son of God <laughs> um, so yeah pretty cool to have him in the story um, very unique take on the, the uh, fairy godmother yeah it felt really original and his interactions with Prince Henry and Danielle were really sweet mm -hmm. um, there was another side character that you wanted to talk about um, who's actually Danielle's kind of childhood friend named Gustav yes Gustav, um, at the very beginning of the movie, um, it shows them just kind of um, fighting p playfully, and then she ends up, like, um, covering him in mud. <laughs> he's kind and of like a, I'm pretty sure he's a servant. Um, yeah, so, yeah, but, but they yeah. have kind of almost a brother and sister kind of relationship. Mm -hmm. um, and throughout the movie, um, he he helps her out um, because he goes to find Da Vinci when she gets locked in her uh, in the house by the stepmother. Mm -hmm. um, so that plays a big part um, and it's just cool to see um, a side character that um, has a good connection with Daniel mm -hmm. and that was cool. Yeah, the, this movie, um, part of the reason why I liked it so much is it had a really good message yeah. for both Danielle and Prince Henry. Um, Danielle by the end, she ends up standing up for herself. Um, it's interesting, at the start of the movie, she saves a fellow servant from being sold into slavery. Yeah. Then at the end of the movie, she's sold into slavery and she saves herself. Mm -hmm. um, so that was really cool. And then P Prince Henry, um, kind of similar to the 2004 Ella Enchanted, he really takes his um, title for granted and he doesn't really he doesn't realize the difference the positive difference he can make um, in the world and by the end Danielle helps him realize wow I can really um, make a, a really good difference um, for the people around me um, which I liked it was a really good message Mm -hmm. um, another similarity to the um, El Enchanted 2004 is the first kiss scene between Prince Henry and Danielle is 
Um, the El Enchanted first kiss scene is so similar. I'm pretty sure they knew what they're doing and they're kind of trying to pay tribute to Ever After because um, they're like by a fire. And um, it, yeah, that was kind of a fun yeah. connection. Very similar freeze frames for those. Yeah. Um, I really liked when um, Danielle saved the um, her, her fellow servant mm -hmm. um, from slavery. Um, she frees him and then and then walks back home with him and um his wife and another servant just come running and it's just this very heartwarming mm -hmm. touching scene where they all have a reunion it's one of my favorite scenes because it it makes sense why she would stay at her step family's home and be their servant because her family is there. It's not her step family. It's mm -hmm. the fellow servants. They're, and their their interactions. I I was tearing up actually in that scene. Yeah. It was like, oh, yeah, I always tear up. Yeah. Um, the stepmother and uh, Marguerite, <laughs> um, stepsister. Yes, they do a really good job of being bad. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> there's one um, part that's like the worst thing that Marguerite does. Um, she throws um, Danielle's book, Utopia, that her father gave her. It was the last book that her father gave her before um, he died. Marguerite throws it in the fire. Yeah. Um, and she's actually trying to make Danielle choose between her mother's shoes and the book. And then um, <laughs> Danielle chooses the book and gives her the shoes, but then Marguerite throws the book in the fire. Yeah. And... Um, so that was really sad. It's, yeah. Oh, it's heart wrenching. This movie, it's PG thirteen. Yeah. Um, because it's got a few thematic elements. Um, yeah. like kind of following that scene and then kind of the ending, how she gets sold into slavery. It's it's got more mature themes than most Cinderella yeah. movies. Um. But yeah, um, one character that we also liked that was kind of original is there was a um, one of the stepsisters um, named Jacqueline is actually good. She actually yeah. um, kind of cares about um, Danielle. Yeah, yeah. So um, there's one point when um, uh, Danielle got whipped, which again, you know, the, they don't show. They but don't they show, kind of show the after. Fact. Yeah. So another, you know, it's very mature, mature. themes. Yeah. Um, but um, Jacqueline um, helps her recover from the whipping and says that um, that Marguerite should have never said that uh, <laughs> that Danielle's mother is dead. Because um, what ended up happening, like why Danielle got whipped, is because she punched Marguerite, <laughs> who, which who is was. <laughs> Marguerite was being a jerk, like yeah. she is throughout most of the film. She's horrible, and she's mm -hmm. good at it. Um, but yeah, Danielle punches her for saying something very rude about her mother. Yeah, um, yeah. Very much deserved. So satisfying yes. to just, yes. yeah, just deck her out. <laughs> so, yeah, um, yeah. and uh, Jacqueline is like, I don't know if I've ever seen, or I'll never forget how her head went over her heels like that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, there is, so. there is, um, yeah, there are some satisfying moments mm -hmm. like that that you don't always see in some Cinderella movies. Yeah, um, like the evil, um, the the stepmother and that evil stepsister. Um, by the end, uh, at the end of the movie, they have to live as servants. They're yeah. stripped of their titles. Yeah, which was satisfying yeah. to see. Very yeah. satisfying. Oh, it was good. Um, yeah, it, you don't always get that. Um, um, the, I don't know, I, I liked so many things about this movie. There was so many things to talk about, like the music, um, the set, the castles, those were awesome to see. Mm -hmm. Um, the costumes were great. Um, like yeah. you, you mentioned the dress that she wore to the ball. Mm -hmm. Um, one thing I noticed that was another similarity to the, um, or for the 2004 A Cinderella Story, um, at the end of the movie, same as that one, um, Prince Henry actually rejects Danielle when her identity is revealed against her will. Her stepmother reveals who she is at the ball, and Prince Henry en ends up rejecting her, and she runs away, um, which is uh, very similar to what happened in the 2004 um, A Cinderella Story, where um, Sam's identity is revealed against her will, and... Um, 
it, yeah, she's, she's rejected. Um, but yeah, kind of an interesting similarity, um, to that. Um, yeah. one scene we really liked was at one point, Danielle, um, saves Prince Henry. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, there's a point when, um, their wagon breaks down, um, they were hanging out together, their wagon breaks down. So they decide they're going to walk. Um, at the suggestion of Danielle. Mm -hmm. um, and so then they walk and then um, she actually climbs up into a tree because they get lost. And so she's going to try to figure out where they are, mm -hmm. where they're at. Um, so then she's up in the tree and then the gypsies come and are trying to harm or kidnap or something, the prince. Mm -hmm. um, and so, um, so Danielle comes down and um, they have this interchange with the gypsies and everything. And um, one of the gypsies sa says that Danielle can take anything that she wants. Um, <laughs> and so she's like, can I have your word on that? And then the gypsy's like, on my word as a gypsy, anything you can carry. Yep. So then she carries Prince Henry <laughs> yeah. um, away. She and walks up to him <laughs> and he's just kind of looking at her like, <laughs> okay. And then she like bends down and fireman carries him away. Yeah. Which we were talking about. She must have had help, you know. Like, oh, there's it, no way. He's yeah, a big guy. <laughs> yeah. And they're doing multiple takes of that. Um, I'm sure they had a whole setup um, because he's a lot bigger than her. Yeah. And they had to, yeah. Um, yeah. I think she probably would have injured her back if she actually like had lifted up the actor like yeah. 20 times for a yeah. take like that. Yeah. But uh, Danielle had a lot of spirit and a lot of character in this. And that's part of what makes the movie so good mm -hmm. is just the fact that she's such a strong character, such a strong personality. Yeah. And one of my favorite scenes is when um, she's hanging out with Prince Henry and they go to the library and um, um, Prince Henry is kind of like looking serious and like, you know, and then he says something like that she has more conviction from one memory than he does in his entire being or something yeah, like that. So yeah. he's very impressed by her mm -hmm. and just um, her amazing personality and her strong conviction and who she is and what she believes. Yeah, she challenges him, mm -hmm. which um, is so good. And it, it's, I don't know, it's so accurate. It feels so authentic because yeah. we meet people in life and they challenge us. They challenge what we, we believe. Um, and sometimes we meet someone and just kind of what they believe is a wake up call for us, mm -hmm. like it is for him. Um, yeah, yeah, I loved that. Yeah. It's a, I, ah, uh, this movie is such a good romance yeah. too. Um, mm -hmm. We were kind of talking about how the, the 2015 version, which we gave a 10 out of 10 score, um, is so beautiful because the colors, um, the magic, the dress, the ball, everything is very magical. But in my opinion, this one surpasses that one because mm -hmm. this one is so real yeah. and authentic. Mm -hmm. There's so much depth yeah. to the characters um, and their growth and their lives. There's mm -hmm. so much detail to them. Yeah. Um, and I love that. Yeah. It feels like it could have actually happened. Mm -hmm. Like it feels like a historical romance that, and they were really trying for that. Really yeah. Hard, you yeah. Know? Um, but yeah, the, the 2015 Cinderella um, is very cookie cutter Cinderella story and they added a lot of magic and fantasy to mm -hmm. it which makes it special and it stands on its own yeah but this one has a different feel to it it's very real mm -hmm. um, authentic yeah and um, we like it a lot better yeah it, it made me tear up it made me laugh many times mm -hmm. it was also very serious um, mm -hmm. and it had good messages yeah yeah and this one is from 1998 so this is an older film mm -hmm. Um, but tried and true, so good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, it's so good. Um, so yeah, we, we've talked about it and we are going to give Ever After a 10. Yes. Um, like, uh, like the 2015 uh, Cinderella, or Cinderella, but, mm -hmm. um, yeah, in my opinion, it's, uh, it surpasses that one. Like, yeah, it's like, uh, 11, Yeah, 11, yeah, yeah, if it went up, if it's, it went this up This is hard. the top of our list, like, mm -hmm. there are no other movies out there, Cinderella adaptations, that we like better than this. Yeah. Um, so they have yet to make something to surpass this. Yeah, I, I don't, I honestly don't think they will. I yeah. think this is, um, 
because I, I don't even know what they would change to make it better. Yeah. Um, it was, uh, it's honestly one of my favorite movies of all time. Yeah. Yeah. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Well, thanks for joining us yeah. and uh, join us next time for the next review. Yeah. Like, comment, and subscribe and let us know what movie, uh, what Cinderella movie adaptation you would like us to uh, watch and review next. All right. Bye. Bye. No, too small. Needs to draw some attention. Ha <laughs> ha